Good morning and welcome to Two Minute Thursday. I'm Johannes Sundlo and I hope that I got that right now for all the automatic translators that last time called me Johanna. I'm Johannes Sundlo, nothing else, uh, even though Johanna is a very fancy name and very nice name, but I'm Johannes. And before we jump into the today's subject, I just want to take uh, the time to also nudge you to, to subscribe. So if you take your time, just, just hit the button down here and don't mind me, just hit the button. If you are on LinkedIn, click on the YouTube logo and then bounce away to YouTube and then hit subscribe. I'll wait, it's fine. What we're going to talk about today is naked versus the interns, influencers, employee situation that has occurred in Sweden. Let's put two minutes on the clock and we'll start now. You might or might not have heard about the Swedish retail company Naked and their interns slash employees slash influencers and the sort of battle that has emerged among those two. It started with former employees and interns going out saying that they've been mistreated by Naked and Naked CEO then responded in, well, at LinkedIn actually and then the whole thing commenced and lots of media articles around the whole situation. And I'm not going to go into details around what I think or what I believe because I don't have the full picture. I can impossibly say this is the way it is. I'm going to use this as a canvas to paint a picture of where I think we're going in the future around this or what we might head in the future and why this is important for you. As a manager, as an HR leader, whatever you might be in a sort of leading position within a company, you need to pay attention to this. As always, I'm eager to hear your comments and thoughts around this as well. So make sure you drop a comment on your thoughts below here. After you looked at this, or you can do it during as well. Over 10 years ago, when we started HR Sweden, we started to talk about social media and the impact it would have on work and workplaces. Already back then, we saw the potential of social media to become a megaphone for employees that were mistreated. And obviously, we'll always have people that feel like, hey, I've been mistreated. This has accelerated I think during the years and we've seen some instances where this has happened but I think this is a major one where you can actually see Naked that is in the forefront of working with influencers and employing people that are active in social media in a way that we've never seen before. But bear in mind that the generations to come, if you look at the recent report about how Swedes use the internet for example, younger folks or almost all younger folks, they use social media one way or another. So this will become more that you have people that are highly active on social media. And over time, you'll see more and more of people actively engaging with the brand, which is great if they do it in a positive way, but also potentially things like this happen. And what does that mean for us? Uh, what does it mean for you as an employer? What does it mean for you as a manager? What does it mean for you as an HR leader? I think there's one common thing that we all need to take into consideration and it, we need to act with dry feet and a warm heart. So we, we got to make sure that we do the right things. And you got to act empathetic and you got to act in a way that you truly can take a stance for in public because all things might end up in public these days. And if you don't get that now, please get it fast because this is happening and all all your employees are potentially megaphones around what's going on within your company. And obviously you can always argue like have a loyalty duty as an employee. To some extent, yes. And traditionally when someone was unhappy, they went to the union. But as we are less unionized now and younger people, especially as they see unions as being more irrelevant, uh, where should they turn? What's their last outpost? When you're in a desperate state, where do you go to? your friends and your social media channels which you use every day. So we gotta keep this in mind and we gotta act and think and discuss this. I think this is important to pay attention to and think about. Saying this once again, I have no clue about the situation at this company. But what I do know is that the systematics around the whole situation, that we will see more in the future. I'm 100% sure about that. Let me know your comments down below and I'll see you. I'll see you actually next week. Make sure to drop a like and feel free to share the video.